broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round. You can't find the fighter, but I see it in you, so we're gonna walk it out and move. Walk it out and move mountains. And I'll rise up, I'll rise like the day. I'll rise up, I'll rise unafraid. I'll rise up and I'll do it a thousand times again. And I'll rise up, I like the waves. I'll rise. In spite of the ache, I'll rise up and I'll do it a thousand times again. For you, for you, for you, for you. When the silence isn't quiet. It feels like it's getting hard to breathe And I know you feel like dying But I promise we'll bring the world to its feet And move mountains We'll bring it to its feet And move mountains And I'll rise up That we have each other and we will rise, we will rise, oh, we will rise, oh, we will rise, we will rise, rise, up, rise like the day, I'll rise up in spite of the air. thousand times again and we'll rise up high like the waves we'll rise up in spite of the ache we'll rise up and we'll do it a thousand times again for you Good evening and welcome to the third annual Dress to Impress Gala to benefit Uncommon Threads. I'm Cheryl Fiandaka, the Chief Investigative Reporter for WBZ TV. And thank you for joining us tonight for this very special event. Before we get started, can we have a virtual round of applause for Jenny Wengrovius and her beautiful performance. Thank you, Jenny, that was lovely. We have so much to share with you during this next half hour. We hope you've had a chance to post your gala outfit on our virtual red carpet and that you have your signature cocktail or a glass of wine in hand to kick things off. Now joining me as co MC this evening is my friend, Susan Warnick. Well, no, she's not my friend. She's my best friend who has a glass of wine in her hand already, of course. Um, Susan is a former anchor of WCVB TV Channel 5 and she is MC extraordinaire. So I'm gonna try to keep up with her, but no guarantees. Susan? <laughs> 
All you have to say, Cheryl, is that here is Susan. She was on television forever. She's very old and she knows about Uncommon Threads and she knows what an amazing organization it is. And yes, I have a glass of wine. And why would that be unusual? Hello, everybody. It's great to see all of you. Hey, we're out of our yoga pants tonight. Hi, huh, kids. Wow, that's just for tonight's gala. I'm going right back to the yoga pants as quickly as I can. As you can see, obviously, things are a little different this year, but some things are not different. One of those things is the need to provide ongoing support to this great organization so they can continue to provide empowerment programs and services to so many deserving women who need their help. That's what we're going to do tonight, folks. We will be showcasing the work of Uncommon Threads, and you'll hear directly from clients as well as supporters. Now, on the screen below me, you can see how to text to donate, which is a quick and very easy way to make a donation during or after tonight's program. And of course, we want you to make a donation. We want you to make many donations. We want you to write down the information so that you can share it with your friends and have them make donations. Just text U T Give to 44321. It's that easy. Or if you prefer, you can go online to www.uncommonthreads.org and just click on Donate Now. And I hope you know how grateful we are for all of your support tonight. We sure are. You know, Uncommon Threads is not your average clothing program. They use beautiful clothing and personal styling to help women change the way they view themselves and the way they're perceived by others. Now, Uncommon Threads has impacted the lives of thousands of women in our community. And it's a unique approach. It's called Outside In, Inside Out. And it helps to empower women. And the point of this is to give women the confidence and to be able to give them the feeling that they feel when they put on these beautiful clothes. And it's the feeling they feel on the inside, which shows on the outside. Now, Uncommon Threads is the brainchild of the founder and executive director, Susan Kenoff. Now, Susan created Uncommon Threads because she had the experience of both a social worker, a fashion stylist, and a blogger. She spent more than 20 years helping low-income families and women move out of poverty. Now, her connections in the fashion world have given her program tremendous success. Her blog, The Midlife Fashionista, has been an important tool for attracting national attention to Uncommon Threads and for generating clothing donations, volunteers, and media coverage. Please welcome Susan, who will tell us more about Uncommon Threads and how they are responding to help women during this very, very critical time. Thank you so much, Cheryl and Susan, and hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. Life is difficult for women who face financial hardships. Layer poverty on top of issues such as domestic violence, substance abuse, disabilities, or serious illness, and life becomes even harder. Throw a pandemic in the mix, and it becomes almost impossible. Vulnerable women are struggling right now more than ever. Low-income women are more likely to contract COVID-19 since many are frontline essential workers and live in highly populated areas. Domestic violence is also escalating and women are finding themselves trapped in dangerous relationships with no place to escape to. And depression and anxiety are felt as a result of living in stressful, isolating and very uncertain times. Yet women are our caretakers, workers, mothers, role models for children and now even our educators. We need to invest in them for the benefit of everyone. I started on Common Threads three years ago out of a passion to strengthen and support low-income women. The program was a natural combination of my dual careers as a social worker, wardrobe stylist, and blogger. Our mission is to use clothing and image as tools for building self-esteem and self-worth. But Uncommon Threads gives women so much more than beautiful new outfits. Although we can dress women of all ages, regardless of their employment status or circumstances, what's most powerful about the program is the dignity, nurturing, support, and kindness that our clients receive. Uncommon Threads takes a unique and innovative approach to strengthening women. It's magical and it works. In just three years, we've served thousands of women, helping them to build a positive self-image that resonates outside in and inside out. 2020 was shaping up to be an exciting year for Uncommon Threads. Last fall, we doubled our physical space in order to meet the high demand for services 
Chamberlain chose Uncommon Threads as a recipient of their community service project, and they transformed the space into a real boutique, complete with dressing rooms. You'll hear more about that later. Uncommon Closet, our social enterprise, also went through an expansion and renovation, and the word was getting out about this beautiful resale boutique that offered a new way to shop to give. And then in March, COVID hit and everything changed. But even a pandemic won't stop us from carrying out our mission. We continue to provide women with personally curated outfits through a new contactless program called Threads to Go. Here's how Threads to Go works. Our clients are referred by social workers or health professionals. They complete a style profile questionnaire, which our volunteer stylists use to select outfits that align with their lifestyle and needs. We've also incorporated special touches such as beauty and personal care products and essentials such as undergarments and socks. Our stylists write personal notes to their clients, sharing style tips and words of encouragement, support, and hope. Outfits are beautifully packaged in reusable tote bags and picked up curbside. The feedback has been incredible. And although we miss being together in person, Threads to Go is the perfect solution to keep services flowing while keeping everyone safe. Our Women's Empowerment Center has also transitioned from in-person programming to online. And our YouTube channel houses educational and inspirational videos to teach relaxation and stress management skills. This fall, we'll roll out a series of virtual workshops to give women even more tools to build self-esteem. And a weekly newsletter keeps our clients informed and connected while providing them with tips for self-care as well as valuable resources. We have a long-term vision for Uncommon Threads that includes a mobile van to bring services to women who cannot travel to us, replicating the program in other areas, and adding a mentoring program called Uncommon Friends. Throughout this incredibly challenging time, we have remained true to our mission and continue to strengthen and invest in women. But we need your help more than ever to keep the program going and growing. Women need our support because we need them to support our society. I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining us tonight and being a part of Uncommon Threads. Your support means the world to us. I would now like to introduce you to one of our very uncommon clients, JJ Ortiz, who we've had the privilege to work with several times. JJ was a foster kid for most of her youth, transitioning in and out of social service programs. However, she is one incredibly strong and determined young woman who continues to amaze us. JJ is open about her struggles with self-confidence and body image with the hope that it will help others. She is truly an inspiration. Please welcome JJ. Hello, my name is Jumaidi Ortiz, but you can call me JJ. I'm 19 years old and grew up in the foster care system since the age of 11. I was in the system for 2,555 days before I was able to say that I had a stable home. I constantly moved in and out of programs and foster homes until the age of 18. It was very frustrating to move and start all over again. It was very hard to make connections and then have to leave. I always felt like I was behind and had to work harder to catch up. I was a different person and I had a lot of growing to do. I had no stability growing up. In this type of environment, it made me insecure about myself. I didn't have someone in my life to tell me it was okay to be curvy. I didn't have anyone to teach me how to love myself. I looked different and I always hated it. I always hated being labeled the big girl. I graduated from Malden High School and I am now a permanency advocate, which means I speak on the child welfare system and foster care about permanency. Permanency is so important to me because too many kids give up their childhoods in the foster care system, bouncing around to different homes. Security and stability is, um, is what a kid needs to succeed, and that's very important. Last year, when I was introduced to Uncommon Threads and attended a few styling sessions, it was a game changer. I felt welcomed from the minute I walked through the door. The ladies were so warm and kind. They greeted me with smiles and hellos, um, and they complimented me on how pretty I am. Since I usually wore baggy clothes to hide myself in, I wasn't sure if they would have anything that would fit me or that I would like. I did not expect a good outcome at all, but I was so wrong. The first time I went into Uncommon Threads, my confidence was about a negative five, very low. Um, and I can say that the first time leaving Uncommon Threads, I felt like a 10, I loved it. 
The volunteers encouraged me to give my opinion and express my likes and dislikes. They wanted me to be me and be comfortable in what I was wearing. I had forgotten what it was like to wear a dress since I was so used to living in baggy sweats and hoodies, but I found a great dress that made me feel empowered and beautiful, curvy and pretty. I have always struggled with Bonnie image and worried about what others thought of me. Clothes shopping was not only frustrating to me, but also too expensive. I live on a very small income, so buying clothes is not in my budget, especially nice ones. But Uncommon Threads is different. I don't have to worry about the price tag, and I don't have to worry about the dressing room stairs. Plus, I can look good and feel good without having to worry about the expense. Uncommon Threads isn't just a boutique to me. It's a community and a place where I feel welcomed, beautiful, and safe. I also attended one of their empowering workshops, which was about self-love and acceptance. I was amazed at how much I opened up and shared my story with others. I felt connected to the other women in the group. I was amazed at how much I opened up and shared my stories. I learned a lot about myself and got some tools for handling the stress. I hope that every woman can experience Uncommon Threads the way I did. I am grateful to the people who support this important program that builds women's self-confidence and self-esteem. I am happy to say that I am living on my own and plan to apply to college soon. I'm excited about the next chapter of my life and I can't wait to go back to Uncommon Threads for some school clothes. I want to thank Uncommon Threads for giving me support. I need to feel confident and worthy. Thank you, JJ, for sharing your courageous and inspiring story with us. It's unbelievable what you've been able to accomplish. So thank you for that. Suze? Oh, unbelievable, Cheryl, right? Ditto, 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 Jay. Your dedication to working on behalf of children in the foster care system as a result of your own experience is so impressive. The impact that your styling session and participation at an empowerment workshop had on you is exactly the experience that Uncommon Threads brings to all clients, folks. And now we're going to hear from one of Uncommon Threads' biggest supporters. I'm sure everyone is familiar with Timberland, including their iconic boots and outdoor gear. I mean, you should see the Timberland boots that I'm wearing right this minute. Now, they're a little different. They have a little diamond studs on the heels, so maybe you haven't seen exactly what I have. But trust me. Timberland is for everybody, and not only are they the makers of high-quality clothes and equipment that help people live better lives, they are equally dedicated to serving in their communities, and nobody knows that better than the folks at Uncommon Threads. Timberland has been a dedicated supporter of Uncommon Threads, both financially as well as with their extensive volunteer work. A team of Timberland employees completed a makeover of the entire Uncommon Threads boutique that was in 2019, but they continue to donate their employees' time and talents to do additional projects. So please welcome Tracy Smith and Jackie Lalime to tell you more about Timberland's commitment to volunteerism and their involvement with Uncommon Threads. I'm Tracy Smith, the Vice President and General Manager for the Timberland Business in the Americas. For decades, Timberland has been guided by a higher purpose to inspire and equip the world to step outside, work together, and make it better. We believe in the power of human nature and thriving communities to bring about global change with one unified and passionate voice. Every day around the world, we pull on our boots to make a difference. At Timberland, we dedicate our most valuable resource, our employees' time, to give back through service projects that strengthen our communities where we live, work, and play. Our dedicated community service program, The Path of Service, gives employees 40 hours of paid time to participate in service programs that are near and dear to their hearts. We know that service strengthens people and communities in many ways. It provides resources and labor to support a critical need, draws attention to key issues facing the community, and promotes unity and collaboration in the interest of common good. It is an honor and pleasure to partner with Uncommon Threads. We share a vision for empowering women around the world and an understanding that our vision begins right here in our local communities. Thanks again. Hi, I'm Jackie Lalime, Senior Director of Merchandising at Timberland. And I'm thrilled that this year, Timberland will support Uncommon Threads as the premier sponsor of the Dress to Impress Gala event. 
Timberland has served over 1.2 million hours of service around the world. Many of those hours served in local communities and with organizations just like Uncommon Threads. Last November, our organizations came together for a tremendous day of service called the Serva Palooza. And on that day, we transformed the Uncommon Threads space into something that is as beautiful and dignified as the women they serve. That day inspired me to want to get involved on a more frequent basis. And I approached Susan about joining the advisory board. And since then, I've been an active board member. I've been able to donate my time in the Uncommon Closet resale store and spend time fundraising. And I've even had a chance to work with Susan assisting in a client styling session. It's such a great pleasure and honor to work with this amazing group of women and assist them in any way I can in the amazing work they do every day. Thank you Uncommon Threads for being an inspiration in our community. Oh, Tracy and Jackie, a million thank yous for everything you and your people have done that you continue to do. Your generosity sets a great example for everybody else. And folks, this would be a good time for me to remind you, please, that you can give money with a simple text. Just text UTGIVE to 44321. Please do it. Do it now. Cheryl? Everyone would appreciate it. I mean, the, the Uncommon Threads does such great work. Anything you can do to help support Uncommon Threads, we appreciate. So thank you for that. And now we want to give a warm welcome to Brenda Garcia, who's going to tell her story about how Uncommon Threads gave her the self-confidence that's helped her move forward. Uh, hello, my name is Brenda Garcia. I am uh, from Guatemala. I came... Uh, 20 years ago to this beautiful country. My life in Guatemala was pretty hard. I wasn't able to finish school because I have to work and I could afford my, my education. I was, I was also in abusive relationship with an older man that thought would help me and support me but it was not the case. So uh, as a last resource, I decided to come to America. I have an 18 years old son that I have to raise by myself for eight years until I met my wonderful husband who helped me and I has helped me and support me as much as he can with our possibilities. I suffer from AVM, it stands for arterial venous malformation, which was making me have faith in episodes and seizures. Because of that, I have to get a major brain surgery and lost my sight for my left eye. I felt into depression and I want to give up at some point. But although life has never been easy for me, I have pushed through the tough times with faith, hard work and determination. I am so proud to get have earned my GD and a year ago I thrilled to announce that I recently became a US, U.S. citizen. I felt more comfortable knowing that I am part of this great country. Although the exam was not easy, I have to learn 100 questions and study for one year, one year so I could be ready. On common threads, dress me for the citizenship ceremony, giving me the perfect clothes and accessories for every important event in my life. I felt I looked like a million dollars. I am thankful to Uncommon Threads for help me, helping, helping women like me to feel empowered and beautiful. The program not only gave me gorgeous clothes, 
but volunteers believe, me, believe in me and make me feel like a, I can conquer the war. I am so proud of the goals I accomplished. I work hard to make a good life for me, my family, but because of the pandemic, I've been unemployed since April. I am not searching for work as pro paraprofessional in the school system. I love to work with children. They bring me joy. This is very difficult time in my life with the stress of COVID-19, being out of work and struggling to make ends meet. But I am hopeful that things will change soon. I'll be visiting uncommon trades for interview outfits for work clothes once I get a new job. Their support and encouragement means so much to me. I am, of course, the beautiful clothes help me to present myself with self-confidence and dignity. I am thankful to Uncommon Trends, and I hope you will support this important program that empowers women. Thank you, Brenda, for sharing your amazing story with us. I mean, it's a big testament, all of what you've been through, your perseverance, going through the medical problems, your financial problems, your relationship challenges. You, my friend, are an inspiration. So thank you for your beautiful story. Oh my gosh, unbelievable, Cheryl. Brenda, the fact that you achieved your goals of completing your GED and getting your US citizenship, it just must make you so proud. We are all so proud of you. And I know the people at Uncommon Threads are just so honored to have dressed you for your citizenship ceremony. We are excited to see what your future holds next. You will keep us posted, Brenda, I know you will. So now I wanna tell you a little bit about North Shore Magazine, our exclusive media sponsor for the gala. For nearly 20 years now, North Shore Magazine has captured the region with its award-winning writing, design, and photography. They are the go-to publication for dining, shopping, travel, and lifestyle all around the Boston area. And I happen to know that personally because now I am a part-time North Shore resident of Middleton. It's true. You will see me on the streets of Middleton, running, jogging like a maniac. Well, the last part's not exactly true, but I am living in Middleton. <laughs> but I do know that the magazine has been such a generous supporter of Uncommon Threads by helping to promote events, write articles, and provide print and online promotions. And to tell you more about all of that, here's Nancy Berry, the editor of North Shore Magazine, to share her story. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nancy Berry, editor of North Shore Magazine. We want to congratulate Susan Kanoff and everyone at Uncommon Threads for their tireless and amazing work with at-risk women across Massachusetts. We've been honored to support and partner with Uncommon Threads since its early days, and I've been fortunate enough to meet some of Uncommon Threads' clients and share their success stories through the magazine. The mission of Uncommon Threads has never wavered, empowering women and helping them feel worthy, strong, and beautiful. We are equally thrilled to have awarded Uncommon Closet at Uncommon Threads a Best of the North Shore Award this year. Again, congratulations to Uncommon Threads for another successful year supporting women in our community and across the Commonwealth. Thank you, Nancy, for all of the contributions you have made to the success of Uncommon Threads, including naming Uncommon Closet the Best of the North Shore Award winner for 2020. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Uncommon Closet, it's a social enterprise created to provide funding for Uncommon Threads programs and services. And to share a little bit more about why that's so important, here's Susan. It's incredibly important. And to explain more about why Uncommon Closet is crucial to the success of Uncommon Threads and why we really need to be shopping there, please welcome the store manager, I think you all know her. She's just a wonderful person. Her name is Kelly Tortolano. 
Hi, I'm Kelly Tortolano, store manager of Uncommon Closet. Uncommon Closet is a social enterprise that provides funding to Uncommon Threads. Every dollar that you spend at Uncommon Closet, whether in store or online, goes directly to our programs and services at Uncommon Threads. The clothes come from local and national boutiques and businesses, as well as women at home cleaning out their closet. They have something in the back of their closet they haven't worn in a really long time. Um, something that has tags on it that they've never worn or that beautiful piece that they have that they know would be a great addition to the store and generate much needed funds for the program. Shopper safety is of the utmost importance to us here at Uncommon Closet. We are offering hand sanitizer in every corner of the store. We're encouraging social distancing and we're sanitizing the fitting rooms after each use. Of course, the safest way to shop is online at our online store. And we have beautiful items from all over the store on our online store for sale. We are offering curbside pickup and free shipping for items over $50. So right now there is a huge movement in thrifting, reusing and recycling. And it takes 2000 gallons of water to make one pair of jeans. So if you think about buying that one pair of jeans that has been worn and reused and recycled from someone else, you're actually saving the planet. Store hours vary. Stay tuned to our website for updated information on store hours or follow us on social media on Instagram or Facebook. Or you can book a private shopping party. You can grab three of your best girlfriends and come in and have two hours to have the whole store to yourselves. If you like guilt-free shopping and amazing deals, this is the place for you. We are filled with designer brand name, handbags, shoes, clothing, and accessories that you can get at a fraction of a price that you would pay at full retail. For example, this Diane von Fustenberg blouse was originally $398 at Nordstrom. For us, gently used, it's $42. We also have amazing handbags. This Longchamp bag, full retail price, $95. Barely used, can't find a scratch on it, $25. Denim, full price denim, AG, $215, never worn with tags, $40. They're practically free. So come on down, check us out. We've got lots of great deals for you. Thank you so much, Kelly. I'd like to take a minute and give special thanks to Susan Warnick and Cheryl Fandaka for hosting this event. They are incredible. I feel so lucky to be surrounded by the most incredibly kind and giving women, including our advisory board, staff, and volunteers who all put their hearts and soul into Uncommon Threads. But the biggest thank you goes to all of you for attending this virtual gala and supporting and believing in Uncommon Threads. Here's to strong women everywhere. May we know them, may we be them, and may we raise them. I love that, Susan. That is so beautiful. I'm going to steal it from you, actually. It's obvious <laughs> that your organization is built and supported by strong women who empower other women in our community. And it has the potential to do even more with the right support and funding. And that's where you come in. The funding needs to come from all of you. We hope that you've liked what you've seen tonight and it will inspire you to make a donation to Uncommon Threads. And don't forget, you can text to donate. You can text by texting UTGIVE to 44 three, two, one. And we're going to wrap up this evening's festivities with just a reminder that there's an online auction that's going to be closing in about an hour. So keep bidding on those fabulous items that you've had your eye on. You don't want to get out big. So go to biddingowl.com forward slash uncommon threads to place your bids. You don't want to lose out. There's some fabulous things there. It has been such a pleasure to co-host with my pal and friend, Susan Warnick, who's amazing. And she's going to close it out for us tonight. Suze? How much fun has this been, Cheryl? Really, folks, you know, it's a little, you know, it's a little different than we normally do, but it's been wonderful. And obviously, Cheryl, you make everything better, honey. I hope all of you have been informed and entertained and inspired by all of tonight's speakers and that you will find it in your wallets, but mostly folks in your hearts to donate to this worthy organization. Thank you again to all of our gala sponsors who helped make this possible. Had it not been for you, believe me, Uncommon Threads would not be the amazing organization that it is. Once again, I want to give the information about texting a donation. Text UTGIVE 
to 44321. We can't say it enough. And here's something else I'd like to remind you. Recurring donations are a very easy way to spread your donation out over time. Think about it. $20 a month adds up to, well, I can't do the math because I'm a journalist, but you can. 20 times 12, that's a lot of money and you could do it every month for a year. And think of the impact that you would make. So before we sign off tonight, please enjoy this closing photo montage highlighting more of Uncommon Thread's amazing clients. And again, we want to just say thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us tonight. Good night, everyone.